In this video, I'm going to draw Spider-Man 2099 in 10 hours, one hour, 10 minutes, one minute, and 10 seconds. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse just came out, and Spider-Man 2099 looks fantastic. I had to draw. He's been one of my favorite characters for a long time. Okay, why don't we get warmed up first? Why don't we start with a 10 minute draw? Here we go, Sp drawing Spider-Man 2099 in 10 minutes. And uh, as you see there, I bought a Spider-Man 2099 toy. I believe I got it from uh, Walmart. It was part of my toy phase. I bought a whole bunch of toys I wanted to draw. And this was definitely one of them. Spider-Man 2099 has been one of my favorite characters uh, ever since the 2099 series came out a long, long time ago. I believe that was uh, the 90s. And this was the most popular. Miguel was the most popular out of all of the 2099 characters, and for good reason, too. So it was really great to see him show up at the end of the previous movie, and now I get the chance to see him in this movie as well. So, drawing this one, I just wanted to, the, to draw the head and the torso, and just to see how much detail I could get into this particular drawing. Ha! <laughs> that was fun! Now why don't we try one minute? Here we go, one minute drawing here. Just I just wanted to get all the details in. The, uh, the details are pretty simple, but still, you only got one minute, and I wanted to get in as much as I could here. So again, needing to get into the eyes, as well as the head, as well as the symbol of the body. Just wanted to get a little bit of each of that, as well as the structure of the torso. And just to get the muscles going, why don't we do 10 seconds? All right, I messed that up. Okay, so this was a lot of fun to do, but as you know, I need a little bit more time, so why don't we try one hour? So now we are drawing Spider Man 2099 for one hour. So I could get a pretty good drawing in for an hour. Whenever you draw a standard comic book cover, um, it, could, it could vary, uh, definitely vary. Uh, but whenever I draw a, a natural professional comic cover, I usually like to take my time. Usually we're looking between maybe, if it's just one character, maybe three to four hours uh, to draw a proper um, comic book cover. Uh, so an hour is not as much time as you would think for something like this. So something like this, want to get make sure I get a nice, good, strong pose, get all the costume details in. but. One hour, still not enough time to get a good background in, so at least focus on getting the good the char the character down and all the little details. And here it is, the one hour. Now I want to do a really good drawing, so a while back, I wanted to try to draw a 10 hour version of Spider-Man 2099. And let's get started. So now I wanted to do a really good drawing of Spider-Man 2099. As you guys know, I am... Uh, I like to draw technical things. I like to draw things from the future in Spider-Man 2099, <laughs> year 2099. So it was my chance to draw something uh, really cool. So I knew drawing the actual figure wouldn't take uh, 10 hours, but also adding a nice uh, sci-fi background, I thought that would also help eat up the time. As you see right now, I'm about a good like hour and a half in and pretty much got most of the structure of the character down. But uh, I noticed in the trailer that they made Miguel like pretty muscular and pretty big comparatively. And you know, you guys know I love drawing the Hulk and Hulk style characters. So I wanted to give him just a little bit more bulk if, that, if that's the case. So uh, whenever I draw the Hulk, I wanted to add those veins in. I wanted to have that musculature really shown uh, when drawing this character. So ha adding things like veins in the arms 
and then having like really spiky hands, like very venomous in that sense. So when I was actually drawing this live, a lot of people thought this was a cross between Spider-Man 2099 and Venom, uh, and it wasn't. Uh, it definitely wasn't, but I wanted him to feel really, uh, really strong uh, in that sense, and also adding a lot of detail. Like I, I saw a lot of this, um, like um, this kind of pattern of texture and various versions of Spider-Man 29. Looking back at it, if I was gonna change one thing, I probably uh, would do a little bit more of a technical sci-fi style um, texture to it. But, you know, I, I was already almost done with it, and I'm like, okay, it is what it is at that particular point. So, might as well go ahead and move on to the background. So, 2099, you know, very sci-fi looking buildings here. I wanted it to look like, um, Miguel was attacking from the top, like he was coming down at us. A very, uh, in that sense, kind of like a very Batman-ish style uh, pose coming down and then having a very, very sci-fi looking background here. This actually reminds me of when I first started my comic book job. I, I worked on a sci-fi title and I had to draw these extremely sci-fi buildings. And this was a little bit of a throwback to me because if you look back at those uh, issues that I did, the city, was very, very similar uh, to what I'm drawing here, what I'm drawing here. So it was actually a lot of fun, a little bit nostalgic as well, and also drawing it in a perspective, a, a worm's eye view, where you could feel uh, Miguel coming down at us. It, it was uh, definitely a lot of fun to draw. And overall, I had a great time drawing this piece, and I think it turned out all right. So what did you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. And here it is, Spider-Man 2099 in 10 hours. Here it is, Spider-Man 2099 in 10 hours, 1 hour, 10 minute, 1 minute, and 10 seconds. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, share this video, and I'll see you next time.